And we're at the tail section. Uh, same thing with the majority of equipment. Bearings, tail shaft, your RPM sensor, very important. This will uh, kill the system if it uh, doesn't spend, sense the sprocket spinning. So, and then we have our sprocket, drag chain, and paddles. So we want to make sure this stuff all looks in healthy condition. No wear, no bend, no damage in our links. This chain's a little bit loose right now. We'll get it tensioned up. There's lots of travel, as you can see on these uh, tensioning rods. So we'll pull that whole sprocket back. but you can also over tighten these chains and it'll cause premature wear in this knee because the paddles will be wearing and dragging on lids and the mid pan. So now the guys have tensioned it. the head section of our drag conveyor. Uh, first we got non-drive side bearing. And this one, actually the gearbox acts as the other on the drive side as the bearing. So there's actually no bearing in between. We have our plug sensor, which is very important as well. So if this thing gets backed up for any reason, that'll be another diaphragm plug sensor that will trip and uh, cause the system to shut down before it completely plugs and starts breaking stuff. We've got access to our gearbox for oil levels, so it's full. Our direct drive motor on there. Same thing, we'll check the fan, make sure there's it's clear, no buildup. we got a little bit of sweating happening here with the uh, fittings. Checking for leaks, making sure nothing's leaking from the seals or the gearbox. And then we have our inspection door for our chute. 